Hello, it's Brian from Comic Dash Cam. I have been sharing different videos and posted some of the videos on some social network sites and had questions about what cameras I was using, so I thought I'd share the setup that I have in my car so that way you can see what I'm doing. So what I have here is I've got two different cam I've got two cameras in the car. They're both Rexine V1P Pros. And I use the reason I use two cameras is for the rear cameras and the way I have them set up, but I'll share that with you in a little bit here. With Rexine, you can actually adjust the front camera. So I have the left camera here pushed all the way over to the left. The right camera is pushed all the way over to the right. The front camera gives you a 170 degree view. So by pushing the cameras over, that gives me a much wider view of the front. Probably have about a 240 degree view of my total front as it's recording. So, and then with the rear cameras, what I have is with the left camera, my front camera is right here on the dash and you notice it's pointing towards the driver's side window i can pick it up though and switch it around switch it over to the passenger which more officers now are going to the passenger side for their safety so i can pick it up and actually switch it so that i'm recording because you know when the officer pulls you over you want to be able to record um, I always check the states to see what the laws are regarding recording. Most states do allow you to record, but you need to know what those laws are. So if the officer tells you to turn it off, you can let them know you're not going to turn it off. It's within your rights to be able to record. Um, so just, just know what those laws are. And then for the left, the right side, you'll see it there in the back and that is, that's where I have my rear camera mounted dead center. How I have my camera set up. And then both of these cameras are GPS enabled. So they do record my speed. So this way I have two different cameras that are recording my speed. The cameras do have a different time on them. The left camera is set up with daylight savings time. The right camera is not. So right now this right camera is saying 1707. The right camera is saying 1607. So just to give you an idea of the way that those are set up. And then on top of that, one thing that I do um, here in the car is I do carry an extra micro SD card. Now this is in the in the larger holder, but I always carry extra SD cards. And the reason for that is, is that if, if I'm ever involved in an incident, what I will do is, as long as I'm not knocked unconscious, I will immediately stop both of the cameras, switch out their memory cards, and then put those memory cards into my wallet. So that way I have them. And then if I have to be taken via ambulance or something, I don't have to worry about if the cameras are stolen, if the memory cards are taken out. I have the actual SD cards that have the data on them with me at that point in fact at my work we've put cameras in our work vehicles and then our directors and our officers all have cameras because of the amount of mileage that we do and i do the same thing i put an extra card in there and, and show them how to be able to switch it um, in case they do have an incident now you'll notice that my cameras are on right now I do not have the key in the car I drive a Ford Flex and my auxiliary power ports are on 24 7 so I can turn the car off and my cameras are going to continue to record so even if the officer tells me to turn the car off it's going to continue to record you need to know if your car can do that or not so and if I do need to turn it off, I just have to pull the plug on the left one. On the right one, it goes to a power block that has five USB ports. And I have a switch on there that I can use to turn it off. And then that will turn it off. I would suggest that you do turn it off at night um, or at least format the card every once in a while. I would leave the right one on all the time. But then one time I went to pull the card to get the data off and the data was not recoverable at all. Couldn't read it or anything for some reason with it being on all the time. It got into a state where I couldn't read the video files so I couldn't pull anything off of it. Another reason why I always like to have two cameras so that if one's not readable I've got the other one also. 
But you'll notice in some of my videos, it seems like the camera's left or the camera's right. This is the reason for it. It is because I have two cameras. So, but the reason I also like the Rexine V1P Pro and other cameras will have this is that you'll notice there's no suction cup. These use a, a double-sided sticky that goes on there that holds them up there. And the cameras slide off of their mounts. So... Um, suction cups sometimes will pop and there's nothing worse than when you're driving and have that camera drop down on you while you're driving which can be a, a hazard can be a distraction so you really don't want that while you're driving down the road but that's the reason I also like the so this is my camera setup I hope you guys are liking my channel please let your friends know to tell them to subscribe and like the videos that I'm posting I will have more coming because I do a lot of driving. I do anywhere from 40 to 50,000 miles at least a year. I bought this car two years ago. It had 30,000 miles, and I already have over 100,000 miles in just that two years. So it's, it's. I'm looking forward to get a lot of mileage. My uh, last big car, or last car that I had, I had over 400,000 before it got totaled out. That's the video with the Jeep that rear-ended me. So. It was a nice little car that, that got me around, so I'm hoping to get as many miles on this one. But thank you for, for liking my videos and following me.